Hello my beautiful Virgos and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and today I'm going to be doing your mid-monthly May readings. So let's check these energies. First, before we go ahead and do that, I am just going to clear our energy space, yours and mine, of any negative energies and entities that we do not want here. So let's get into it. All right, removing all negative energies and entities and any evil eye from your space and mine. All right, so Virgo, if you have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node or so south node, this could apply to you um, as well. Don't forget that this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And also um, don't forget that we all have intuition and we can all read cards. So even though I might not be directly sharing the messages for you uh, here, Virgo, don't forget that there could, could still be some messages here for you. Um, you know, pay attention to the cards and see what the cards have to say to you. All right, my loves. All right, so let's get into it. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to turn my light on because the outside light just turned off. Um, so first card that came out was what rigid. Oh, my God, you guys. Um, Mercury retrograde is still, uh, so I can't talk. What riches do I carry within? You guys got prairie soil and it says hold. What riches do I carry within? So what I heard when I pulled this card was, what is within you? What talents, what gifts do you have? What is it, you know, and it might not be gifts or talents. It could even be just, you know, maybe you have lots of happiness or love, you know, to share with others. Whatever this is, it is saying for you to really hold on to and value the things that are within you here that make you you that make you unique that give you life i am hearing here okay so hold on to those things what are those riches within you and hold on to those and then at the bottom of the deck um i was called to look at it and you guys got eastern cotton tail which is i guess a type of bunny and it says nurture all right, so some of you need to nurture those parts within you that are rich and that is rich with, you know, it, it, richness could be anything. It doesn't have to be money, right? It could be health. It could be personality traits. It could be talents. It could be gifts, spiritual gifts, uh, healing abilities, whatever it is. And it says, what role is mothering energy playing in my life? So for some of you, you might need to look at possibly a mother wound. You might need to look at, are you nurturing yourself? What are you nurturing? Are you nurturing those parts of yourself, the live rich parts of yourself? What are you nurturing? Okay. And for others of you, I see you as this mothering energy um, that you need to play a bigger role. That is the richness within you. You have that ability to nurture others. All right. So your animal spirit uh, cards here. We got peacock spirit. Absolutely beautiful. And the very first thing it says, let it shine, right? What I heard as soon as I pulled this card was shine, baby, shine, shine, baby, shine. 11, 11 on the clock here that I have. You guys, many of you have some, definitely some spiritual gifts, spiritual abilities. You are rich within you that you need to shine your light with other people. 1111 is the awakening card. Many of you need to shine your light. You need to um, nurture the things within you. For some of you, it's psychic abilities. It could be healing gifts. Whatever this is within you, it could just be that light within you, okay? And let it shine. Let it shine. Let yourself be seen. Let this part of you be seen and shared with others. Okay. Sharing this light with others. All right. Um, and then we also got turtle spirit and it says slow and steady wins the race. And underneath that we got B spirit, my favorite card. And it says sweet results await. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. It is going to bring you lots of success and abundance and co-create with spirit. Of course, underneath that. Wow, you guys, this definitely is you connecting to the divine, connecting to your spirit, to higher self, you know, uh, God, the universe, whatever it is for you, the divine, it is connecting your heart to that. 
Okay, with the peacock, um, you know, designs on the wings here, I'm also seeing, um, you know, kind of like the third eye chakra, right? So connecting your third eye chakra, connecting to the divine, and then bringing in the light from the divine, sharing the light that you have in your heart. That could be love. That could be inspiration. That could be you being that mothering and nurturing energy for others. You guys definitely have something within you. You need to shine. Let it shine, baby shine. All right? That's what spirit wants for you to know. And then your animal spirit is black jaguar. Old soul. You guys are an old soul, my beautiful Virgos. Yes, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Yeah, this could be your riches. Okay, many of you are an old soul. You have lots of wisdom and gifts within you to share with the world that you need to shine from within your heart, okay? Focus on what you really want and you can create your dreams. And this is doing it through your heart chakra as well as through your third eye chakra to manifest your dreams uh, here with sweet results. Await slow and steady. Co-create with the universe, you guys. This is also about manifesting your dreams. But you guys, um, you know, just so you know, Spirit, and I made a video um, that you guys can watch. But Spirit has really led me, you know, to kind of focus my channel on reading tarot as a road map into your subconscious to see what is in there so that we can heal it so teaching on healing those parts of yourself but also teaching on manifestation okay so you guys are definitely old souls you are here to manifest to create to shine your light there is a wisdom within you there are things within you that you need to share with the world and i was called to use the moonology manifestation oracle deck um, I pulled a card for you. I will read from the book. All right. So this one is a full moon in Leo and it says go wild. You guys, you are leaders. You are meant to shine your light and power from within. I'm seeing all this kind of like powerful energy from the universe source energy that you are here. You are a leader to shine this with the world. And it says, go wild there are times when your best bet in manifesting and in life is to throw all your cards up in the air so to speak and see how they fall as tempting as it might be to try to control a situation you'll be better off now if you just release and go a little wild you'll get an answer to your question soon so you might as well enjoy the ride the unexpected thing is having fun it oh is that having fun sorry the unexpected thing is that having fun is one of the most powerful ways of manifesting your desires. Distance yourself from arrogant people. Boastful. I just heard boastful, arrogant people. Distance yourself from those people. Um, I was called to look at this card. Full Moon of Virgo. Take inspired action. Some of you definitely need to take inspired action towards something in your life whatever this is but you guys this is also saying for you to play to have fun to nurture yourselves to be playful okay some of you yeah you could have had a mother that maybe didn't allow you to play that didn't accept these things within you okay you need to love and nurture those for yourself but you guys definitely i keep being guided to the peacock spirit and i keep hearing shine baby shine okay shine your light shine your love onto the world and guys this is something i forgot to say in my other videos is that as we shine our light as we heal our hearts as we heal those parts of ourselves and share that with the world in whatever way that is okay it could be a smile to somebody it could be giving something to someone you know um i, I just today i had an experience with you know we all we all you know most cities have pan landlers and, and that at the corners of the streets and today you know i always carry food and stuff and today this woman for the first time ever i actually saw her carrying with her sign a uh, grocery bag and you know, I've always kind of been embarrassed to give out the food, um, but that was like a cue to me. Spirit was like very loud and clear. Like you need to give her all the food you have in your car that you've been saving to give to these people. And she came to the window and as soon as she saw that I had food, she was like, oh my God, I love food. Thank you so much. She's like, please come back with more. You guys, 
there's so much that we can offer and these weren't expensive things it's just little things that i have in my car in case i see one of them i give it to them um you know yeah shine your light whatever this is it could be you know uh, a gentle touch to somebody i just heard it could be a kind word it could be a listening ear right it doesn't have to be big and grand like you know career and life mission and starting business or whatever it is right but you guys definitely have something to share all right virgos messages and guidance please for virgo we're going to get into the tarot and see what the tarot has for you virgos my beautiful virgos what does spirit want you to know? The sun, you guys. Shine, baby, shine. Your happiness, your light. Mother energy. I'm seeing this as the mother, right? Shine your light. There is something that you have within you. It is a gift. Whatever this gift is, whatever the talent is, whatever this is within you. You have richness within you. You need to nurture that richness and help to make it grow more. All right, my loves, I will lay out the cards and then I will walk you through it. Okay. Yeah. Disappointment. You guys are definitely releasing some things here. Oh my goodness. Yes. You, balance and harmony within your life. Absolutely. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> so at the center of your spread, we have got the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups could be loss, grief, but what I am seeing is you guys are actually releasing, letting go of the three spilled cups, and you guys are nurturing and holding on to the two cups that are still standing here. That's what I get from that. What we currently see, what we're aware of is Ace of Swords. This is an idea, the truth. This is um, inspiration I just heard. This is also the truth, the truth of who you are, the truth of what you hold within you, the truth from the divine. In the recent past, we have the Two of Wands. This is you looking towards your future, making some plans. This also is my prayer card. This is you putting out your call into the universe, putting out you know your order into the universe of what you want, and you are taking you know hold of that one wand and going towards that in your life here. Okay, and you are not alone. You are being supported by your spirit guides. I just heard. And what is hidden, we see the Six of Wands. This is victory and success. But what I'm seeing is you up on a pedestal somewhere, on a soapbox, whatever it is, speaking to people, teaching people, whatever this gift is, shining your light. You guys are going to be recognized for this. All right? Advice, Emperor. Shine, baby, shine. Take the lead. Leadership. You are here. You have lots. You're an old soul, you guys. You have lots of wisdom within you to share with others, Virgo. You are an old soul. You are here to share your light and to be a leader with your wisdom, whether that is to your children, whether that is to friends, co-workers, family members, whether that is in a business, in your career, whatever it is, shine your light, take leadership, take action towards your dreams as well i'm hearing here for you guys and the outcome we have justice and i heard balance if you guys are dealing with the justice system know that things will work in your favor and also virgo this is karmic justice you guys are going to get whatever you put out into the universe tenfold is coming back to you i heard this is karmic justice this is dharma whoever has wronged you okay is getting their justice because i also saw at the bottom of the moonology deck uh earlier was a forgive okay so for some of you there could be somebody here that either needs your forgiveness um, or you need to forgive, okay? But justice is here. This is balancing out the scales, okay? Many of you are putting good out into the universe to get that good back as well. Four of Wands, for some of you clarifying, this is you, you know, this could be in your home, this could be in your relationship, this could be marriage, this could be celebrations, this could be balancing the masculine and feminine within you, the light and dark. This is also my 1111 card. This could definitely be something very spiritual here that you are balancing within yourself. And the Knight of Pentacles, sorry guys, Knight of Pentacles, this is saying slow and steady wins the race. 
You guys cannot make this up. What was at the bottom of your deck earlier? Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, you guys, this isn't a sprint I just heard. This is keep going towards whatever this Ace of Pentacles is for you. Diligence, determination, perseverance. Keep going. Slow and steady wins the race. You will be abundant. At the bottom of the deck, we have Page of Pentacles. This is you planting your seeds of manifestation. And what are those? Queen of Pentacles. This is about your stability and success. This is you. This is the mother card. This is my my um, hardworking single parent card, right? Or single mom card, single dad, whatever, male or female, you know, whatever applies to you. But this is you nurturing yourself. Could be working on some mother wounds as well because we also have the temperance card here. So you guys, during this, you know, uh, we just had the uh, uh, lunar eclipse in Scorpio, the full moon in Scorpio that we just had. It's all about releasing. It's all about letting go of what no longer serves you. It is all about healing. Okay, these dark parts within us, all right? Um, frogs, I'm hearing clear out the clutter. That's what I get uh, from that. So it could be in your mind. It could be in your space. It could be people in your life, all right? This is also patience, but this is also temperance is the yin and yang card, all right? What are we seeing? Yin and yang, balancing light and dark, balancing masculine and feminine, light and dark within, Justice, balancing the scales, lots of balance. So some of you need to bring some balance in your life. Maybe you guys are giving too much. You got to tone that back. You need to also allow and receive, I just heard. All right, let's just clarify the Emperor card before we close out the reading. Why is the Emperor here as the advice? Emperor as advice for my beautiful Virgos. Whoops. Emperor as advice. Why is the Emperor the advice card here for my beautiful? You guys cannot make this up. Okay. All right. You guys. Go within. Hermit card. Many of you have abundance within you. This is your wish fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles. This is stability and success for many of you. You need to go within as well to manifest and create this abundance and your stability and success. Many of you here, Nine of Pentacles, you are very independent as well. My hardworking single parent card, right? Hardworking single parent, Queen of Pentacles. Also, this is Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. All right, so... Uh, what came out here for you guys? Oh, you guys, two of cups. This could be about a relationship. This could be a partnership here. So whether it was parent, child, love relationship, friendship, co-worker, whatever this is, three of swords is here. So you guys are definitely needing to heal. I did see that healing uh, you know, some heartache and pain here. Two of Swords, again with that frog energy, what I'm seeing is grab a hold of that Ace of Swords, the truth, grab a hold of the truth, hold on to that, and do not be decisive. Actually, when I pulled the Emperor card, I was about to say, grab on to the Sword of Truth, just grab on to that, take that power over the truth, you are a leader. You have the wisdom of the truth within you. The truth, the truth from the divine. Divine wisdom I just heard. This is what is within you. Virgo, you cannot make this up. You guys are an old soul. Take hold of that truth and lead others, okay? And then we also got the magician. Many of you guys, mystics, healers, you guys know how to manifest and create. You could be teaching others on this, all right? But this is leading others. And what this is saying is also, I heard this earlier, take leadership in your own life because you are the master. You are the leader. You are the the emperor. You are the, um, you are the leader of your life. You have power over your life because the truth... You're ha you are a spirit having a human experience. The truth, the wisdom from the divine is that you are here to manifest. You have the power within you to manifest and create the life of your dreams. That is also the riches within you. 
Wow, Virgo, this was deep. Oh my goodness, Spirit is really speaking loud and clear today, you guys. Absolutely beautiful reading of Virgo. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are already subscribed, you guys, thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. To those not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. And don't forget to hit the share button, the like button. It really helps my message to get out there and for my channel to grow as well. Um, a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates for you. What's going on for you, Virgo, in May? I love hearing from you guys and I respond to all of your comments. I really do love reading all of your comments. All right, my loves, let's see. Final card and we'll close out the reading. From the Surrender deck and for my beautiful Virgos, what does Virgo need to know? Messages and guidance, please, for Virgo. All right, my loves, here we go. Surrender obsessive thinking. Spirit wanted me to show you guys that, all right? And drama underneath that, all right? And like I said, some of you could have some mother wounds here um, that need healing because we got Surrender low self-esteem. Uh, at the bottom there and then we also have surrender your addictions okay so surrender low self-esteem you deserve success love and abundance set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem all right my loves Surrender your addictions, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking. Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So you guys, many of you, this is what you need to release during this time, but also um, needing to bring in that happiness and knowing your value and your worth. The truth as well is that you are, you are loved. You are meant to have success. You are worthy. You are worthy. Many of you, if you are dealing with addictions, that is a self-love, self-worth, self-esteem issue. Okay? That you need to release. This is what you need to fix to get to this. You need to fix your self-worth, self-esteem. All right? Like I said, mother wounds. Okay? All right, my loves. Yes. Next card was surrender your desire to control people. Control comes from fear and surrender the idea that you can fix someone. Okay. So like I said, some of you are maybe giving too much. Some of you are maybe, you know, because you are old souls trying to fix people. For many of you, you really need to look at within and, you know, heal those parts of you. The self-worth, the self-love. When you connect to the divine, when you know your value and your worth, you can set really healthy boundaries as well. All right. But Virgo. Shine, baby, shine. All right, my loves. There are things that you need to share with this world. We need you. Okay, Virgo. All right. As always, thanks so much, Virgo. I really enjoyed doing this. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, you know, comment down below and hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos when I post them. And as always, Virgo, thank you so much for being here. I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.